Nej, men det är inte Televite here. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to season two, episode one of Televite Vlogs. I'm gonna back up here. There you go. We're kicking this vlog off with something pretty special, I would say. So, let me show you something for a bit of background here. This right here, this is our uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a pretty robust machine and it's very special to me and my family reason being this poor guy he was left and abandoned in the woods uh, had some engine issues and it was actually donated to me and my father to fix up because we're really into cars and uh, it had a bad head gasket and it needed some uh, camshaft realignment and that was about three years ago. Ever since then, this thing has been running incredibly strong. Gets eight miles per gallon, but it's been being a very nice truck. It's my dad's daily driver. So, yeah. Um. Sensors. Anyway, the topic of today's, today's video is something similar to this is happening again. One of our great friends is has this extra 2001 Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck that he doesn't need anymore. It's taking up space in his property and he wants to get rid of it. So once again, my dad and I are coming to the rescue. <laughs> Today we're going to go pick up another project car. And what better time to do that during the corona apocalypse when there's nothing better to do? Um, so yeah, I got some supplies going here. I got uh, all kinds of goodies. I got tools and headlamp and gloves and sprays and funnels and battery jumper thing that we're going to use. Plan is... The best case scenario is we uh, go there, we're able to get it running no problem, um, and then my dad will drive it back to here, and I'm going to follow behind him in the Audi, and um, if for whatever reason we can't get it started, I don't know what's going to happen then. There's a possibility we might rent a trailer, or there's a possibility we might just tell him to end up scrapping it if it's way too much work because this is going to be the first time that we're seeing this so uh yeah i'm very excited about this um to have another project car hopefully so yeah let's get so here's the man over here he's getting more things that we need that i didn't get or putting things back that we don't need what do you think of the land cruiser this land cruiser this land cruiser the one that we rescued from the woods and restored it's one of the best vehicles ever built I was just telling them about what we did for it. Okay. Alrighty, so what we're doing in this clip here is it started off with a dead battery, like 0, 0.00 volts, like super, super dead battery. So we were trying to jump it off with the Audi, um, but that didn't even do it. So yeah, my dad and I had to go to Menards and pick up another battery. Um, and then the first battery we got from Menards happened to be bad too. So we had to go all the way back to Menards and get his third battery. Um, so yeah, here's this clip right here is when we first got it running after um, after we tried one of his extra batteries that he had at his house. It was a deep cycle marine battery. Um, and then after we did that, it worked out. Um, and then we went and we got a cheap battery from Menards. So 
Yeah. Pressure, that's good. Right, so what we were just doing there is we were just making sure the engine would turn over and build oil pressure before we actually tried giving it gas uh, to start it because when engines have been sitting for a long time you want to make sure that they um, have enough gas um, and oil pressure in order to get started because if you have gas and no oil pressure you can end up destroying your engine. So what we did is we pulled the um, EFI fuse um, or relay and uh, turn the engine over a couple of times. And now we are gonna start it for real. Oh yeah! I'm saying this baby's a beast. I can't believe it's just zing. I'm telling you, this thing, it ran like a champ. Yeah. 208,000 miles. 208? Yeah. Look at her eyes, she's pretty. Started. Yeah. Weird sound yeah. Sounds like your AC clutch here, maybe? Uh -huh. Dude, no way. No check engine light. Well, not yet. <laughs> Give it time. Can you believe it? Okay, so okay, so we're at Menards now. We're getting a new battery for that truck because the one that was already in there is completely, completely like dead. We were actually already here once at Menards, and then we realized that they sold us a bad battery, so we came back over here to get another one. So yeah. Still a good amount of people out doing business, even with the whole virus thing going on. Lots of people are really oblivious about it too, which is annoying, but can't control other people. So yeah, really excited about this whole truck. It starts well and runs like a champ, so yeah. There we go. No problem. 208,807 miles. That brake's probably gonna be locked up, I'm guessing. There it goes. We broke the tires loose. What do you think? Surprise, it's running on the old gas that it's got. We're going home with the new truck. <laughs> I'm following him in the Audi. This is awesome. All right, you guys, here she is back at our house. It is officially ours now, kind of. Um, so yeah, this is totally awesome. There's no um no tailgates, so whoa, voice got whoo. there's no tailgate. We'll have to get one of those at the junkyard. Let me show you the interior a little more. I'm gonna spend all day tomorrow detailing it and making it nice because it needs some love. Okay. There she goes. Dome light? Maybe. Perfect. And 
the only issue it has um, is it's got a bit of a transmission issue and uh, here we'll do this sub Kyle style um, and it's got this really noisy um, pulley which is super annoying yeah we're gonna fix that though so yeah guys this is really exciting I'm really happy to have this truck very lucky very fortunate so yeah you guys i'll see you tomorrow when i detail this come back hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video you just watched if you did please consider supporting the channel Click to my right to subscribe, and to your left you will discover more videos posted by Televite. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.